Welcome to Fortnite Battle Royale in 2019, and here's everything you can expect within Fortnite Battle Royale in the up and coming new updates. Yo, what's up guys, Aaron or Tanket here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Fortnite Battle Royale video. Today in the shop, we have the Maven skin with the Techie Llama laptop, part of the Calculator Crew set for 1200 V-Bucks. Also comes with the T-Square pickaxe and the Paper Plane Glider, which is absolutely lit. We have 20,000 V-Bucks, so you know what we gotta do. Boom, successfully purchased the Maven skin. I'm gonna skip out on the pickaxe but that paper plane glider is looking so good so we're gonna got that for 800 v bucks successfully purchased that as well we're down to 18k v bucks boys so you know what that means as well oh my god 31,500 v bucks this is the most amount of v bucks i've ever had in my entire life at one time if you guys think i should go to 100k v bucks drop a like in the video down below and let me know in the comments how many v bucks you guys currently have right now as well i know i keep saying it every single video but i gotta say it once again thank you so much for 1 million subscribers we are growing really fast right now and i really appreciate all the support all the likes all the comments everyone subscribing you guys are absolute legends so thank you so much for a million subs if you haven't already press that subscribe button down below join the team and if you're watching this in 2019 smash that thumbs up button but today we're going to be going over a ton of 2019 fortnite updates that are yet to come out but are expected to do so in the next few weeks from new weapons to new skins to new collabs to the return of in-game features so make sure you guys watch to the end of the video because i also have a very special announcement so starting off with two new weapons that fortnite battle Royale is expected to get within the next few updates the silent sniper and the mini uzi now the mini uzi is going Going to be an smg and of course the silent sniper is going to be a brand new sniper rifle in terms of weapons being vaulted to have these weapons come into their place we're not sure about that but the introduction of these two weapons have been made to be the silent sniper and the uzi i'm looking forward to these things because of the unvaulted playlist that i've been practicing and playing with using old weapons in the game and it maybe miss the og smg so much so if the mini uzi is anything like that i'm all for it and a silent sniper is pretty cool we already have a silence assault rifle we used to have a silenced smg we have a silenced pistol that's really really awesome so if the silent sniper is anything like the bolts or the barret but with a silencer you just can't go wrong with that so i'm looking forward to these two new weapons being added to the game very soon expect both of them in new content updates within the next few weeks now on to two separate collabs that fortnite might be engaging in within 2019 a new kfc skin bundle has been teased by kfc gaming themselves and this is not the first time they've mentioned or showcased a fortnite skin collaboration concept They've actually posted another one on their Facebook a couple weeks ago that showed a different skin with different items attached to it. One skin bundle showcases what looks to be the wildcard skin with a KFC bucket, some sort of chicken pickaxe, and a new chicken-based emote. The other one actually shows a chicken glider and what looks to be like a chicken strip as a actual character, as a skin. Now, these KFC skin bundles are not confirmed to be added to the game as of now. These are concepts that KFC Gaming is promoting. But if KFC Gaming is promoting this and they've had ties with Fortnite, I think something might come of this maybe not the exact bundle but maybe some sort of skin or accessory in game that is a collaboration between kfc gaming and the fortnite battle rail community we'll see if these bundles get added or these skins get added in the near future but as of now these are just marketing ploys and promotional images to hype up a possible collaboration in the future let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below would you want a kfc skin in the game i personally would love a kfc skin i think it's cool to have you know different companies team up with fortnite it just further proves that fortnite and epic games is an amazing company collaborating and working with other different brands in different spaces so if fortnite teamed up with infinity war fortnite can obviously team up with kfc another collab that is teased and potentially coming is an nhl collaboration we've already seen the nfl do a collaboration with many different skins and all teams showcased within these skins as selectable styles and customizable numbers with those jerseys and outfits and we also have two basketball skins in the game alongside a ton of soccer skins that match up with different countries now apparently these nhl skins were leaked by nhl players themselves as you can see they're toronto maple leaf themed and they look pretty good, but I was doing some research and it seems to be that these skins are not legitimate. The hockey skins would be a massive hit. We already have an ice puck toy in the season seven battle pass. And with half the map frozen over, NHL collaboration will make a ton of sense, especially with how many teams there are in the NHL. A lot of people that play Fortnite also watch the NHL. So it'd be a perfect matchup to have your favorite number on your favorite player's jersey in the same way that the NFL just did theirs. They look pretty good, but after some research, it seems to be some sort of commercial or promo that was designed by some people 
people behind the scenes to hype up something, but I'm not too sure what that hype is for. I think it could potentially lead to a collaboration, but as of now, there's no information or confirmed release date for these skins. But they do look really awesome, and the art style is very unique for them, so I'd love to see if Fortnite would actually add these to the game. I also wanted to touch on some OG skins that were remaining after I talked about the transfer system in my video from yesterday, and one of my points in the transfer system video was the fact that OG skin players could have the possibility to send those skins to their newer Fortnite accounts, and I was thinking, what OG skins are actually around still? How many OG skins even exist because of the Christmas and Halloween seasons, essentially adding back every single rare item in the game, what items are actually very rare? Now, of course, we can go back to the Season 2 Battle Pass, but a lot of players were still playing Fortnite at the time. The most OG skins I can think of are the Ghoul Trooper, the Codename Elf, Renegade Raider, Aerial Trooper, and there might be one more other skin, but besides that, that's it. Four to five, maybe six skins at the most are considered very OG and very rare. So in the comments down below, out of all the OG skins that remain, all the rare items that are still in Fortnite Battle Royale that haven't been released for like literally over a year. What is that number one skin that you would like to see back in the shop to purchase for yourself? Oh, I just remember the name, the Recon Expert. That's the other skin. That's a pretty rare one as well. One of the most rare skins in the game. If that were turned to the shop, obviously a lot of players would be upset, but I'm wondering in the comments from your guys' opinion, your guys' reactions, what skin would you want to see back in the shop? And in 2019 for Fortnite, we are expecting the return of the gifting system, the transfer system, a potential refresher on refund tokens for the refund system, and save the world for free. Out of those four features in the game which one do you want to see come first the gifting system the transfer system the refund system being refreshed with new tokens to request even more refunds on other skins or save the world for free let me know in the comment section down below Fortnite battle rail in 2019 is expected to be probably the biggest year of the game's life 2018 was a massive year for fortnite epic games the success was ridiculous fortnite has beaten basically every single video game record in one year the most concurrent players at one time the highest grossing month for a free game the most free game downloads they have so many records in one year of being battle royale live so without a doubt 2019 will be nothing shy of insane incredible updates with new events new skins and a whole lot of in-game content for every single player to enjoy but there is one problem in fortnite battle royale right now that i actually agree with and i tend to be a pretty optimistic open-ended and open-minded person when it comes to video games and fortnite battle royale if there's a bad item in the game that's very cheesy i tend to just you know deal with it i don't really complain but as i've been playing more in season seven probably the most since I've been playing from season two out of every single season. It's probably like season two, number one, then season seven, number two. I think Fortnite Battle Royale did not make a mistake adding the planes, but I think they've made a mistake for keeping them in the game so long. It's fine to add bad things in the game to learn if they're actually bad because maybe they add the planes and they were the best thing ever and everyone loves them. But at this point in the game, I'm almost positive every single person watching this video right now, if planes were removed, you'd be more happy than sad just because the cheesiness, the easiness, and the freeness of these planes. I think they need to go in 2019. I think they need to go in season seven. So let me know what you guys think of the gameplay changes possibly coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, the vaulting of the planes, and to even go a step further, a new item in the game that I'm not the biggest fan of just yet, could grow to like it, or I could grow to even hate it more, is the boombox. I think that should go as well. Let me know what you guys think of those two game-breaking and game-altering items in the comments down below. But with that being said, boys, that is what we can expect within the next few weeks and months of Fortnite Battle Royale in 2019 as we enter the middle point of season seven, getting closer and closer to season eight of Fortnite Battle Royale. We still have two weapons to be found, the Silent Sniper and the Mini Uzi. Potential for a KFC skin bundle and an NHL Fortnite collaboration. OG skins possibly returning to the shop at any moment's notice as they've done in the past. And the gifting system, transfer system, refund system, and save the world for free. All in-game features and UI updates coming within Fortnite Battle Royale very soon. If you guys have not already smashed that like button, let's go for 3,000 likes on this thing. Comment your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel, press that bell button as well. Join the notification squad twitter and instagram at i tank it go follow me over there i post daily v-bug giveaways and new updates on fortnite battle Royale. my thoughts and the news for those updates so make sure you guys go follow me and subscribe down below with that being said thank you so much for watching have an awesome day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next one still watching the video right now i respect you and i have an announcement for those who really wanted to see what's up on my channel live streaming will be coming very soon i'm going to be purchasing a new pc allowing me to stream games in a really good quality for as much as i want with no hassle and no stress i'm going to be live streaming on my youtube channel and i'm probably going to start live streaming within the next few weeks or maybe starting in february regardless live streaming will be coming i asked you guys if that was something you wanted to see because personally i've always wanted to do it if you didn't 
didn't know, I have literally never live streamed in my entire life, not even once, and uh, I do live gameplays just about every day, so I think it's a perfect blend to mix up 2019 for the channel, bring you guys some more live content with live streams, so expect that coming soon, hopefully you guys are hyped for that as much as I am, because we're going to be doing some very big things when I do go live, with that being said boys, thank you so much for watching again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you're still watching the video, you should probably go follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram at I Tank It on both. I tank it, I'm the greatest with my aiming and my bases. I've been knocking everybody down, best cutting around, hit that sub button for the entertainment. <laughs> Victory Royale, need a crown now. Don't forget to hit a like button right about now. Yeah, I'm taking off, I ain't waiting for a countdown. I ain't in a battle bus, but I'm up in the clouds now. Got my skin in the game, no John Wick. Got a missile, cause you know I'm about to rock it. I don't need to see a dentist, I've been flossing, I'm bossing. Opponents hit the L, yeah, you lost it. <laughs> Take it, got all of the leaks. <laughs> videos in a week yeah put them v bucks in my car huh. drifting on gold like my scar yeah